Welcome to the Metricon Quick Start Video Guide for Metricon Dispatch. In this video, you will learn about what the Metricon Dispatch Firebridge functionality is used for and how to quickly get it set up and running. Metricon Dispatch is a multi-function application. One of its functions is Firebridge, which makes it easy for you to enable all your third-party OPCUA components to securely communicate with each other across firewall and it does so without requiring the firewall inbound ports to be open, meaning that you maximize the security of your network. At its root, FireBridge is based on OPC UA reverse connect functionality, meaning that it is an open standards-based solution. This is important to you because it means that it works seamlessly with all your third-party OPC UA infrastructure components it does not lock you into a proprietary solution and it leverages the OPC UA standards well-tested security best practices. As such, Metricon Dispatch Firebridge technology can be used to facilitate cross-firewall communications on both sides of a firewall in scenarios where neither of your OPC UA clients and servers implement reverse connect functionality. Or, Firebridge can be used to fill in the reverse connect functionality in situations where one of your OPC UA components already supports reverse connect, but the other sides does not. As you can see in the diagram, this might be an OPC UA client that has reverse connect functionality, but dispatch is used on the server side or vice versa. You can also use dispatch Firebridge functionality in architectures where your OPC clients and or servers are still based on OPC Classic. You can do this by using the Matricon OPC UA Tunneler product which enables communication between any combination of your OPC UA and OPC Classic components. The Matricon Dispatch and Matricon OPC UA Tunneler combination makes it easy for you to extend the functional life of your existing data infrastructure while adding new OPC UA components in an ad hoc fashion or as part of a broader phased migration strategy. In the demonstration in this video, we will show you how to use Matricon Dispatch Firebridge to facilitate such OPC UA connectivity across a firewall that has its inbound ports closed. Using the North-South naming convention, components outside of the far firewall protected network will be referred to as being the North components, while the components behind the firewall will be referred to as the South components. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Pat Hunt from the Matricon TSC team. Today I will be showing you Firebridge connectivity. We have two computers, one on the north, one on the south of a firewall. 209 is on the north, 208 is on the south. We're going to be connecting up to a UA OPC server on the south directly with UA Explorer to show connectivity through the firewall to start with. So this is the basic connection. We're going to connect and we will browse to some data on here and we'll load up a few points. Some of these I've been using already so they'll have some data on them and I'll add a couple extra just to uh, show some some fresh data. Okay, we can see a couple tags there at the bottom just started pulling data and the rest have been pulling for a while. Just remember this data for later. Uh, it'll show you when we're doing the Firebridge connection you'll be able to see this data. Now we're going to go over to 208 on the south side of the firewall and we will get and look at the firewall settings. Okay, here we are on 208. Bring up the firewall. This is the default firewall rule that's built when you install dispatch. As you can see, it allows all connections. So we're just going to disable that. And this is a rule that I built to block these ports. We'll turn that on.
then we'll go back and look at the north computer and it will have had a problem with the connection at that point. As you can see, 209 is starting to give us some visual indicators that there were some problems. We have some errors showing up in the logging below. So we'll go look at the connection here at the home screen. And sure enough, it's had a problem. It's trying to reconnect. We'll just disconnect this for now. We know it's not working. So we're going to want to connect to the federated data source on this side and set up a reverse connection listener. So that's what we're going to do next. Showing that we're connected to the dispatch on the north. to start setting up this Now we've done federation in a different video and showed how to use the federator um, so when this shows up you'll see here that there's a few different configuration options to discover in manual those have been covered in, in other videos we're going to be using the reverse connect here and you'll see that it'll gray out when I choose that option the first thing we're going to do is set the listening port and that is going to be five five zero zero four And then we're going to put the server URI in, which I'm just going to copy and paste that in right now. Uh, below, we're going to set the security policy in security mode, basic 256, and sign and encrypt, username. Um, and this is what we've been using for both of these. Set it to enable and apply. Now, it's not going to be connected right away, but you'll see at the bottom that it is waiting for a reverse connection. And so once we set the connection from the south side, this will then turn good. So we'll just close this for now. We'll come back to it after we set the reverse connect on 208. So here we are, 208 in a configured dispatch. I'm going to go to the reverse connect. Um, this is the default one when you add it in. We're just going to set some of these values. Firebridge demo for this portion. And we're going to set this one to the IP address of the client that we're going to look to connect to, which is going to be 209 and the port number that we set as a listener, 55004. Now we'll just refresh the screen real quick and we'll see that we're connected. And it's set to true. We'll go back to the north computer now, just to confirm that we are reverse connected. To keep in mind the firewall rule is still in place. You can see here that it's good, and now we know that we have a connection. Next thing, we all, next thing we have to do is just go to the UA Explorer portion of this, connect to the North Dispatch, and drill down across it to the South Dispatch to pull our data up. Let's see, we're just connected to the dispatch here. And I'm just going to do a quick rerouse to ensure everything is fresh, and we'll start drilling down. Go to our data sources, we can see our Firebridge demo there. Scroll down to the data folder, and drag up our objects. We'll be into configuration of the self now, into those data sources, and we should see the UA server that we looked at before this time we're through Firebridge to it. That's a federated data source as well on the self-dispatch. So we're gonna open up that folder and we'll grab uh, 20 tags this time. We'll show us all the ones we had looked at before plus a couple more new ones. And we can see all the old data and the new data coming through, or the old connected data. 
And there we go. A fire bridge connection. It's been successful. <laughs>